Okay, so today we'll discuss about line graph and in line graph what happens? There are some events and then we describe them with certain words. So in line graph you see some changes. So if you look at this here, yeah, the changes are very little. So this sort of changes will describe saying increased rose or climbed okay this sort of changes we use increase rose or climb okay and how it is increasing gradually slowly or minimally because the change is very little okay and if you see this change how this fragment is changing if you select this area how they are changing very rapidly okay so it's like sharp so here you see lift sword shoot up rocketed or you can use this sort of word like increased sharply rose rapidly climb dramatically okay so these are the terms we will require to increase this sort of changes and when there is a like the highest point, the highest point is called peak. Okay, when it goes to the highest point, then we call that point peaked. Suppose like it peaked in 2003. Okay, and then you see this again, it's like going down. So this is a going down, this is called decline. So how it is declining? very rapidly it's declining so it's called sharply so it dropped sharply or fell rapidly or declined dramatically that means rapid decline so that was rapid rise and that was rapid decline and when there is a like a stable condition like a flat line that's called stabilized leveled off or remained constant okay so when there is a stable condition that we can call it, remain constant or leveled off, stabilized. Okay, and again, this is now going down. Going down, how they are going down? Slightly, slowly, minimally, okay? So the thing is the same thing, you see? Increased, gradually, slowly, minimally. Decreased, gradually, slowly, minimally. So this thing is like, same sort of word, so this one is rising, increasing. This one is dropping or going down. Okay, if you know all these things, when there is a slow rise, you can call something like climbed minimally, rose slowly, increase gradually. Okay, when there is a sharp, that means a high increase, sudden increase, all the sudden is going up, that we can call increase sharply, rose rapidly, or climb dramatically. Or we can use single words like rocketed. You know, when the, like the price goes up, we say that the price of that mobile phone rocketed or something like price of that, like price of oil rocketed. So that means suddenly it just jumped into a like high price. And then when it reaches the highest point, that's called peak. And when it's going down, we can say drop, fail, or decline. And how it is going down? It's sharply. That means big change. When there is big change, we can say sharply. And there is like other words like rapidly or dramatically. And when, when there is a flat line, no change happening, then we can say stabilize, remain constant, level off. And when there is like decline, but it's like very little decline. So you can say drop slightly, fail gradually, decline minimally or slowly. Okay. So these are the things that will require to describe our line graph. Okay. Now we go to a task. So suppose this is a task. So you see, here, the task is, now, you need to describe this graph, like student enrollment, Lee's College 2011. 
So what happened in Lee's College in 2011? So what we can write here. So this is dramatic increase. Yes, very good. So maybe we can write here dramatic increase. So we can write increase. Yeah. What are the other words we can use? Rise. Okay. So, right. so here. So this one you see like like there was a change, slight change. So they use a slight increase. So how about here? What happened here? This is called peak or apex. Yes, peak. So it peaked. So. So another word is use apex. Yeah, you can use apex as well, like the top. Okay, and this, this is what is happening here. This is dramatic decline. Yes, dramatic decline. They have used sharp. Same thing. So here we can write, write decline. Okay. And what about this one? Uh, it's slight uh, gradual. Okay. So we have used decline. So what are the other words we can use instead of decline? So Slightly. here. Okay. So here you see decline. Fail, drop. So, so here. They're using present tense, so we can use here decline, fail, drop. So fall, drop. What we can use? A gradual drop or fall. Okay, so increase, fall. Okay, so we have used increased here. So this increase. There is one increase here already. So maybe it's better to use some another word. So what we can use instead of increase? Rise. Rise, yes. Very good. So we can use rise. Rise. Okay. So now let's see the scenario what's happening so in the enrollment so these are the months okay so what happened from january to march january to march a slightly increase uh, yeah so the student number slightly increased and then what happened from march um, to june Dramatic, dramatic rise. rise. Yes, dramatic. There was a dramatic rise and then it reached July. It's no, not peak. in July. It, it peaked in June. It peaked in June, okay. yes. The number oh, of Thank students you. peaked in June. Yeah, that's good. And then after June, what happened? In the next two months, what happened? Sharply decline. Yeah, not steady decline. This is a sharp decline. So in July, okay. August, or in the next two months, the student number greatly declined or sharp decline. There was a sharp decline. And what happened from August to December? It's gradual fall. Yeah. So gradual fall. So these are the things that we will write. So these are the events that happened. Okay. And approximate number, we can also get some idea about the approximate number as well. So the peak number here, you see the tallest is like 250 and this one is 200. So the peak is in between. We can assume any number from 250 to 200 what number we can pick here 
or peak? Yeah, maybe 2.30, something like that. 2.30, okay. 2.20. Yeah, yes. I think it's slightly more than 2.20 because you, you see like it's more than 50%. Okay, 2.20 will do. You don't really have to be totally like exactly the same thing. 2.20, 2.30, yeah, all will do. Okay. okay, so yeah, these are the things we can use. So they have, you see, they have given also this sort of some helpful words here. So this is like an exercise in the real exam. You will not have these words. Nothing. You will not have these helpful hints either. So you have to come up with your ideas. Okay. So because we are doing exercise today, so we are taking help. Now, now we'll try to write the graph. Can you see what's written here? Passage. Yeah. So yes, can, can you see on the right hand side? Okay. So we'll write something like that. So we need an introduction. So an introduction. So what is this? This is, this is a graph. Yeah, this is a graph. Okay. What kind of graph is this? What we have this it's line, it's a line graph. Yes, it's a line graph. So yes, we have many types of graph. It could be bar, it could be pictograph, it could by be chart, bar by chart. chart. Yes. So today we have line graph. So we can say the line graph. So what the line graph does here? The line graph shows the change in student numbers at Lee College over one year period. Okay. So, because it's like only showing 2011. Okay, so we made the introduction. Okay, and then normally we need another line describing what is the general trend, like what we can see. So the general trend is normally early in the beginning, student number rise and later in the year, student number decline. So we can add another line here saying that but because it's our first class. So I'm not making it complicated. So, okay. So this is a simple introduction. And then now in the descriptive part, we'll just create sentences. Okay. So between January to March, what happened? Between January and March, there was a slight increase in student numbers. And we can also cite the numbers as well. Maybe there was a slight increase of student numbers from 90 to 110. This could be like 90 to 110, maybe something like that, or maybe 95, 200 and A, F, I or something like that. You can say that as well. Okay. And then what happened? What followed by that? This was followed by a, followed by a, what happened here? Dramatic rise in yes. numbers. So we'll use this followed by a, so here we use this word here. put it here followed by a dramatic rise okay in numbers over the next three months and what happened in june in june enrollment reached a june peak, peak. yes enrollment in june it reached the highest point Very difficult to grab. Okay. 
pick. Okay. And then after that, there was a what happened then? There was a sharp decline. Yeah, there was a sharp decline. There was a sharp decline. So we can write here sharp decline. So we can take these words. Sure. Not enough space. space. Sure. sure. Decline. In student numbers. Okay. So it just picked here. Okay, then what happened? Finally, there was finally in in the last a gradual fall. Yeah, there was a gradual fall. Yeah, so we can write oh. it here. Gradual fall. Okay, so there was a gradual fall in numbers from August to December. Okay, and then now we finally go to the conclusion. Overall, or uh, over the year, finally there was a lot of fluctuation in the numbers. Okay, so yes, this variation going up and down. Okay, so we'll not use that word up and down, going up and there was a lot of up and down. We'll, we'll not use that word. There was a lot of ups and downs. We'll not write something like that. Okay. So we'll use a word like fluctuation. When there is a variation going up and down, that term is called fluctuation. Okay. If we use like a there was a fluctuation in temperature, that means what what means that? It Suppose, means the season and the weather are uh, Changing yes, so fast. So the, yeah, the temperature are changing very fast. Yes, you're right. So fluctuation means going up and down. So over the year, there was a lot of fluctuation in the numbers. So in the student numbers, you can write student numbers because they are talking all about student numbers. We can add this word as well. So it's like student numbers. So we can write. So can we increase? I think uh, almost 100 words here. Yeah, so this is just the basic idea. And now we can increase, okay? So now this is something that is the basic. So if we understand what happens here, and then we take it up and take idea from here. So what happens here? So here it's saying, different changes okay so okay okay so now we have to write actually 150 words okay about this thing normally we need to write 150 words so here we can write something about it okay so we can write what kind of graph is this? The line line graph. graph. Yeah, okay. So line graph. It slightly bigger. Okay, so we can write here. So the line graph. Line graph okay so we can write different kind of words okay 
some people use yeah. shows demonstrate illustrates okay so because this is a picture or related to graph we can say depicts or illustrates as well okay for us we just use some easy words shows okay so what this shows student enrollment in lee college shows so students enrollment we can paraphrase these things so number of students taken admission in lee college in the year of 2011 from what is the period from january to, to december december over a 12 month period okay and now we can give a general outline so where what we can see here it can be clearly seen that so it can be clearly seen that what's happening here that the number of students, students. so in the first half what happens number, number of students, students slightly slight increase yeah so no no we'll not describe like slight or the uh, like dramatic we'll go to the that part in the descriptive part here we'll write so number of students increase right. no no slight or difficult so what happened ultimate thing is do they increase or fall so number of students increase in the first how many months first uh, two months. three months six months not three months you see like first from january to june oh january to first june. six months okay and the last six months so the last six months what happens decrease decrease yes the number the students are decrease decrease okay so because it happened in the past so number of students months the number of students decrease decrease so we use past tense so the first sentence should be always in present tense because now you see it but the other events that already happened so here what i'm going to do here it can be clear seen that number of students increase so here we need to write increased in first so we need to write another d so number of students increased in the first six months and the last six months the number of students decreased or the students number decreased okay so now we go to the descriptive part okay so now we come to the descriptive part so here now we start what is the starting point we we, uh, sir, we need to uh, look the tense also uh, uh, the uh, yes graph. in the descriptive part always look consider the tense because it should be like tense appropriate 
and the verb should be like describing the event when when it, it happened it's because it, it happened in 2011 so this 2011 is an event of the past so an event of the past should be described in past tense past form as from yeah. so here there was a sharp decline so that that word was taken away so if sir if the chart uh, will uh, be 2020 that means we have to present uh, we have to use present tense yes but and that would not be so rational be because one. you see what will happen then if you present this with 2020 what is the month now now um, uh, August. August. August, yes. So what will happen in the next three months? Then that, that, that will be uh, future yes. tense. That will be the event of the future. So then in that case, we'll use the predicted student number is something like this. We have to say, or the student yes. will decline. If the, this trend continues, the student number will decline from this to that. So we have to use something tense that appropriate of that event. Okay. So so I, see, now, I see some graph uh, that are always show, uh, always the incident of the graph are given the past tense. Yeah, mostly they're given from the past event because uh, Without the past event, it's very difficult to predict the future. So mostly you see things of the past. Sometimes they may combine past and future, but it's very rare. All the time they give you anything that is past events. Okay. So most of the chart are past event. Yeah, most of them would be from past event. Okay, no problem. So now you know if the thing comes of uh, something from the future, you use future things. So because the event that doesn't really mean that will happen. That was like a prediction. So you'll say most likely there will be student decline. There will be student decline if this current trend continues. And the predicted decline numbers are from this to this. Okay. So now our starting point in January, what is the student number? Ninety-five, ninety. Yeah, maybe ninety-five. Okay, so we assume the student number is ninety. Okay, so in January, January, the number number of students. Stood at what is the point? 95. 95. Okay. Which increased. So, what kind of increase there was? Slightly increased. Slightly increased. Yes, very good. Slightly. So, we have increased, we have used increase on the upper portion. So, what we can use instead of increase? Which is slightly rise. Rise. Okay, so rise is a present form. What would be the past form of rise? Rise. Raise. Slightly rose. Oh. Rose. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. So you see, like that, we have seen here what happened. Slightly climbed, slightly rose, slightly increased. You see? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So gradually, minimally, slowly, you can use slowly as well, okay? So slightly rose, okay, so slightly rose. And what are the other things? So which slightly rose in next, how many months slightly rose? 
March. Three months. No, not three months. From January to March is January oh is something we are taking it for 95. So the next two months is February and March. So next two months. Or we can say that if you are confused, we slightly rose up until March. Okay. And then then what happened? Then March to June. Yeah. Yes. So after that, so we'll say something like that. After that, after that, the to number of students after that, the number of excuse me, sir. Yeah. Uh an upper line in January, the number of students stood, and we uh, repeat again uh, the number of students. It's not incorrect. Uh, which one? The in January, the number of students which slightly rose yeah. up. We oh, okay. Oh, well, yeah. The, you are saying that. Oh, again. okay. You are saying that. Yeah, we're using the same vocabulary. Yes, you are right. So we can change this vocabulary. Number of students. So we can change this. So we can use something different. Yeah, you are right. So yeah, it's better we change something. So, so students. They are saying enrollment. So after that, what happened? You can say after that the admission. Okay. okay. Admission. admission of new students. Or we can say admission of students. What kind of increase they had? Dramatic Christ. Okay. Dramatic. After that, the admission Christ. of new students. Dramatic rose. Okay, rose we have used. Increased we have no. used. Climb. Uh, Climb. Yes, very good. So new students number or new students. Figure, figure, climbed. How they climbed? Sharp. Dramatically, yes. Dramatically okay. or sharply. Sharply, okay. So you may use sharply or dramatically. Okay, drama or sharply okay so use anything okay we use dramatically here okay the number of student figure or students number admission of new students climbed dramatically we can use uh, we can omit this figure thing so we can just use this students climb dramatically and then what happened the peak of yes peak so the, the students number picked mission? yeah so students number picked at what is the number maybe 250 yeah. In June. Mm -hmm. So the students number, we already used number of students. So what else we can use? Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Instead of uh, okay, many students, what else we can use? Like here, we they have used enrollment. So we can use enrollment. The number of enrollment enrollment picked in June which is approximately which was approximately 250 approximately maybe two uh, it could be 250 more than 250 no 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 it's 250 is no, the no, highest no, point less than 230 yeah. maybe 230 was approximately maybe 230 okay and okay. so these are the things we are writing in a simple way but we are not showing the comparison, you know? So, yes. can use the comparison. Okay, in the next sentence, we'll do some sort of comparison, just not going for the numbers, okay? So how many okay. numbers of students fall out or drop out, okay? So then we can write something here. So in the next three months, so here we can write the following how many months? June, July. The following months from June to July, the following two months experience what kind of thing the experience a sharp decline. decline yes decline so yeah we have already used a past form here months experienced okay so in that sentence we will not okay. use another yes. decline. past form yeah sharp decline Uh, sharp or sharply? Okay, so okay, you can use sharply, but then the decline must be ahead of sharp. Experience a decline sharp or uh, experience decline sharply. No, that doesn't really feel good. So we have to remove experience in that case. So months. Students number declined sharply. In the following two months, what experience? So the student number. We can use here months. So, okay. So any number that we can say population. So the next two months, population. of students or student population student here we can use the client population the client now it is the verb and to modify the verb we need Another adverb, declined sharply. So used, we have used sharply somewhere. So uh, no, we have used dramatically there. Okay, so now we can use sharply. 
sharpie by now we can use a percentage or a number sharply by what is the like the percentage if we calculate from 250 to this point in, in uh, roughly in august what is the number in august first number 120 i think maybe 120 so we can say that it declined sharply by 50 percent you can say that can we say that yes yes we can i say think that. yes yeah because it sharply decreased or we can yeah. even say other words as well like it declined nearly half declined to half of its original population oh, okay just go for one thing one at a time so declined sharply by 50 percent and then what happened in the next three months okay so here we see some sort of a thing three month period we can say quarter okay mm -hmm. so the actual here from january to march we could have said the first quarter the second quarter but in august to december it's not a quarter it's like five months can we say uh, the rest of the year yes perfect yes the remaining months or the rest of the year rest of the year of 2000 no sorry it was like 2011 yeah? okay rest of yeah. the year of 2011 what happened it's gradual fall so we yeah. can continued it's gra fall gradually oh. gradually bringing or dragging or dropping to bringing the student size okay so student size to the like the beginning of the year bringing the student size Student ratio. Yeah. So student size we can compare to the beginning one. Okay. So number of uh, rest of the year of 2011 continued to fall gradually, bringing the student size to maybe here we can write 98 to 98 students 98 which it was almost equal to beginning to okay so 98 almost equal to the initial status something like that you can write can you write that yeah okay so yeah now we have written something like that so here okay now how many words we have written let's count one two three four five six seven eight 
So 120, so we need again 30 words. Huh? So we haven't really compared that many things. So we can write maybe something comparative, which gives us like more words. So here we have a chance because we have more words we can write. So here we can compare. So the first quarter of the year 2011 experienced steady growth steady growth and the second quarter Second quarter happened, what happened? So the second quarter? You don't. Okay, so there were like some one sentence, or one word, sorry, one word which described the dramatic increase. The next quarter, we can say rocketed, soared, shot up, leapt. So rocketed, it looks like kind of a power, huh? So we can use rocketed. The next quarter, it skyrocketed, rocketed, reaching the peak. Right? And then what we can do? Then we can write the next phase, what happened? So we had only 110 there. So we need, how many words were there? 110 or 20? Okay, so one, no, two, 20. three, yeah. 20. Okay, one, two, three, four, so already like, if it is like 110, it's like 130. So maybe we, like next sentence we write something short and then we go to conclusion. So here we write the, the last half. So instead of like going quarter to quarter, the last half or the last what you can say, last six months. We have used six months. The remaining half, that will be better. The remaining half of the year, the number so decline we have used and what are the other words you use decline dropped we didn't use dropped 
or slammed? Level of. Mm, no, level of is like stabilizing. Here we don't have any stabilized form. It did not really okay. stabilize. So we can use like dropped. The remaining half of the yeah, the number of student continue to drop. Continue to drop. You can write something like that. Can we write about fluctuation? Hmm? About fluctuation? Yes, the fluctuation. Yes. So the fluctuation that we can use in the conclusion, or here we can say the conclusion, uh, like fluctuation here as well. But for the fluctuation, you need to have up and down. So here, everything was like down. So for the like remaining half of the year, we didn't have fluctuation. We had always continuous okay. downward trend. But over the year, over the year, it had fluctuation because it went up and down. So now here in conclusion, we can say, in conclusion, Lee College had a had a fluctuation fluctuation of student enrollment. over the given period of time from January to December in 2011. Okay. Yeah, now I think we have more than 250 we need. In conclusion, Lee College had a fluctuation of student enrollment or student number. Over. Or, so fluctuation, enrollment is a process, so it's better to use in. So in conclusion, Lee College had a fluctuation in student enrollment over the given period of time from January to December in 2001. Yeah, there are many other ways we can write. So this is like one simple way how we can describe a graph. Uh, we haven't used too many comparative form. We can compare like here in the first quarter, the student number rose by 5%. Or we can say that in the first quarter, the Lee College only gained five more new students because we started with 95. So here we can say, which slightly rose until March 5, which showed only five number of student increase something like that. So this way you can add more words and can like write a variety of sentences. So what the examiner looks into your writing task one. So the three things you need to remember. Okay, so let's go to that three things. So in writing task one, you need to focus three things. So first thing, you need to find out the task. You need to present the task. You need to present the task. Okay. And the second thing you need to describe. Describe the 
task. So in description, you better compare. Show differences. Show differences and also another thing that you have to do and find similarities. So if there is any similarities or a trend, find these things. Compare, show differences and find similarities in the descriptive part. So here, we try to find similarities, you see, like over this two months, there was increase. Or over the first two quarter, we had like a rise. So we have found similarities. Find differences, what is the difference? The next five months or six months, there were decline. So it is like differences. And how to compare? The compare is like, it fell by 50%. So how many number of students it gained? Here we can say that it gained 5% new students. In March, there was like a five or six new students. So from 95 to 105, it's like 6% increase or something like that. So we can use this comparative term as well. And in conclusion, conclusion, It's better to write a general trend. You find a trend. So the trend, actually some people write in the introduction. You see here we have seen that it can be clearly seen that the number of students increased in the first six months and the last six months, the number of students decreased. So we have included the trends there. And here we have given just only overview. That you can do as well. So overall, you need to have a trend in your writing. So some people, that's why they say, you don't really need to provide a, a conclusion in writing task one. It's not mandatory. If you can provide a very good general trend in, in the beginning or at the end, that will be enough. But it's, yeah, it's not a bad idea to give an overview in the conclusion or an overview in the introduction and a general trend at the end. So there is a, like a slight difference, you know. So the trend is like what is happening going up and down. And an overview is like there was an up and down. So I'm not just showing any trend. I just say here fluctuation in the student enrollment. So what kind of fluctuation happened? The first six months, it did increase. The next six months, it decreased. So that's the trend. And what's the overview? There was fluctuation, there was up and down. So it's like slightly the same thing, but the examiner wants these, these are the things that you need to show you in your writing task one. Okay, so everyone clear?